Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. A little seamless pattern that's pretty neat and pretty easy to draw, and it all came from this. You know, and it doesn't matter what size you draw in. I like to draw in big, especially when I'm making a video so people can see it better. This is pretty easy to draw. I am going to, well, let me get this out of the way. I am going to take a six-sided polygon. I'm going to hold down the control button so it's perfect. I'm going to take and control D and make a duplicate, grab that node right there and put it down to that node. Now I have kind of a diamond shape, but it's perfect. So I'm going to use the smart fill tool to fill it in. I'm going to move it out of the way. I'm going to get rid of my two six sided polygons. I'm going to hit P. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to make it blue. Now I'm going to take the interactive fill tool and I'm going to go across it just like that. I mean, you don't have to do any more or less to it. I'm actually going to see how big this is. It's over 11 inches. I want to make my nudge factor like 13. And I'm going to nudge that. I'm going to make a duplicate and nudge it out of the way. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Double click on the rotation and put it the rotation in there and rotate it 240 degrees, then control D, and you've got a box that's kind of like shadow. Control G to group it together. Take this one, left click, right click. Go up to effects and contour. We're gonna contour to the inside, square corners, it doesn't really matter because it's square, it's gonna, it's gonna go there. And we're gonna make that shape right there. I'm gonna take all of it, select it all, go up to object and break the contour apart. I'm gonna take the inside one and I'm gonna go up to object and I'm gonna, I should have to convert it to a curve, but evidently it's already a curve. Take my shape tool and grab these three nodes and right click and turn it into a curve and then take this one and delete it. So I've got a little curve there. Take my Smart Fill tool again. Fill that in. I'm going to make it blue like the other one. But where that one I went from blue to white, on this one I'm going to take the Interactive Fill tool. I'm going to go the opposite way. Now I'm going to put this on top of that. I'm going to Control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to move the center rotation of that node. And I'm going to rotate it 240 degrees. Control D, 120 degrees. So now we have our box. We don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to take my big box. I'm going to go to order backup page. I'm going to group this together. Control G. And I'm also going to, well, we'll have to play around with this because I do want that in the back of the page. But what I can do now is make my ellipse. I don't have to make it red. I'm going to put it somewhat in the center. And I'm going to make it, let's make it uh, that light blue. Take away the outline. I am going to get the interactive fill tool. And this is, you can play around with it, whatever you want to do. And let's put a little blue on the outside, but let's make it elliptical and then put that in the center. Bring this in so we got a little bit of a blue. And, you know, I don't, it doesn't matter what color you make it. Let's make it green so it kind of stands out. Maybe put a little red on the outside. That looks really ugly. Well, let's go with that green. Now we need to put it to the back of the page. Now it's going to probably put it all the way back. So now I can take my other one. And if you move it over, you know you have it. And I'm going to go object, order, back a page again and put it back. Now it looks like your ball is inside that box. That's pretty cool. You can still make it bigger. Hold down the shift key and make it bigger. You can still interact to fill to it. Let's make it blue. See how that looks and go ahead and make it Let's make it, tell you what, 
probably look best if we put a black on the outside of it. That looks pretty good. Go all the way where it's just black on the edges. Even the black ball looks pretty good. We just want a little bit of a black on the edges. That looks pretty cool. Control G to group it all together. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Normally I would break it into two videos. I'm gonna reduce this in size quite a bit, holding down the shift key. But I want something even, an even number. So I'm gonna lock, keep my ratio lock. I'm gonna go two inches. I'm gonna set my nudge factor on two inches. I'm gonna con control D and make some duplicates. Group it together, control D to make a duplicate, and then move this to one side or the other till it snaps. Now, if you group this together and control D, then you're gonna come straight down and you're not getting that oblong or off shape. And then you can just make as many as you want. I think the red actually looked better. I'm gonna group this together. I'm gonna go ahead and hit P and put it in the center of the page because then I'm gonna take a rectangle and really matter what size, hit P, put it in the center of the page, select them both and intersect it. And then you have that pattern. And if you look at it really close, it's pretty cool. I like the red better maybe. Anyway, you could actually have it in white. Um, I need to ungroup this. See if we can't grab our ball. Get the interactive fill tool back. That's what I like about the interactive fill tool. You can just keep going back and forth. The white looks pretty good. Um, bring this in a little bit. Maybe put a few more whites along the way. Make it stand out a little bit more, but still give it a little bit of gray tint on the outside. That looks really good. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.